Now this capacitance meter has a really sick range. It goes all the way to, now get this, 470,000 microfarad. That's right, 470 millifarad. That is insane. But this capacitor meter can do it. The M6013 is powered by two AA batteries rather than a 9 volt, which I prefer. Another nice feature is the fact that you can use a micro USB connector here Plug it into a battery pack and away you go. Has a really nice feel in the hands. The standing bale or tilt stand doesn't flop around, so it's quite sturdy. And all in all, I'm quite impressed. Now the meter itself um, has a 128 by 64 dot matrix. That's right, a dot matrix LCD display. So it's not just the um, typical liquid crystal display. You do have that dot matrix um, in fact, and actually I kind of like it. As you can see, it's quite verbose. And we'll just zoom in a little quicker there. So the digits do have a certain, um, I don't know what you want to call it, a certain body to them that's quite easy on the eyes. The display itself is actually quite nice. I, oh, come to think of it, I still have the little plastic shroud on. So let's um, just get rid of that, why don't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that felt good. <sighs> I'll be right back. Okay, we are back in business. As I was saying, it has a 406, sorry, 470 millifarad capacitance, which will definitely suffice for all of your needs. It ships with these leads. And you know what? Surprisingly, they are actually not bad. Um, I have, uh, well, I had a couple of uh, Keysight LCR meters, and they had the short leads as well. And I must say, this is the closest to uh, Keysight quality I I've seen in a uh, Chinese meter. Um, the tips themselves here, if we just do a little comparison with what you normally get from China, quite, quite a bit better quality. I mean, it feels very, very well made. I'm um, quite surprised. Actually, I wasn't expecting such a nice quality lead. They're not very long. They're probably about, I'd say, seven, eight inches in length. And the shrouding on the end, unlike some cheap alligator clips that when you do this, what happens is the shrouding gets all confused and next thing you know, you can't open it properly. No, I haven't had any issues whatsoever with these. So fantastic little leads that ship with the 6013. One of the other nice features with the 6013 is the fact that you do have an optional micro USB port. So if you don't want to use up batteries and you prefer the rechargeable as you go method, why not simply stick in one of your cell phone charges, what have you, into that micro USB port and you will be good to go for a long time time. For today's video, we're going to compare the Exovan uh, 6013 alongside the B-Side ESR02 Pro, which is also an ESR meter, and as well the 711 5A, which is strictly capacitance. We'll compare the three in terms of the readings and we'll see how close or just how far they really are. So first up in the test is the very tiny 470 nanofarad cap and we will start with the XL van 525.7 nanofarads 464.7 for the ESR02 503 for the 711 5A I thought since we're having so much fun today that maybe I'll take out one of these bad caps that I pulled off of a uh, display as of late. It's rated at 1000 microfarad and as you can see um, it ruptured so it was a bad boy and he met his demise but you know what let's see if we can get any sort of a reading with this bad electrolytic off of any of these meters. What do you think? Sounds like fun? I think so. Okay. 
We'll start with the star of the show, which still is, at least it's supposed to be, the Exelvan M6013. So here we go, and it's a little awkward because the tips are pretty small on this cap. So let's see if we can get anything, anything from the Exelvan. So we're showing 36, 37, 39, 40. I feel like I'm at an auction here. 41. It's slowly charging the cap. Now, once again, this is a dead, or let's just say a crap cap, pulled from an old working, non-working display. So yeah, we're hovering around 43, 44-ish microfarad. And back down again. So yeah. All right, let's try the B side. Do we get anything off of the B side? I prefer the A side myself, but hey, call me old fashioned. All right, here we go. B side says, dum, 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 dum. it sees it's a capacitor. We've got the C notification right here. Can it give us anything? Anything at all, Mr. B side? Talk to me. Testing, testing, and unknown part or damaged part. Okay, so there you go. So B-Side said, you know what? This thing is crap, and I'm going to give up. So there you go. Let's try our 7-11-5A. Here we go. And survey says... So something similar to the uh, Exelvan, we're getting around 31 microfarad. Now, remember, this is a 1,000 microfarad capacitor. At least it used to be. It no longer is. So 31 showing on the 7.11.5a. Finally, just for giggles, let's try the Maztec. And on the Maztec, we are showing a whopping 5.8 microfarad. So that's pretty well the lowest reading of them all. So it is definitely a crap cap. Next up is a monolithic capacitor. We're getting 99.2 nanofarad on the XL van. Showing 94 on the 7.11.5a. And 87.62 on the B side. Next up, we have an old ceramic disc capacitor. And we're getting a solid 96.6 picofarad on the 6013. Significantly lower reading on the 711.5, showing a 76.5 picofarad. And we're getting 90 picofarad on the B side. So the B side and the uh, Exelvan are pretty well uh, neck and neck. Next up is an older Myler capacitor. I believe this one is around 100 picofarad. Let's check it out. The Exelvan is giving us 115.2 nanofarad. Let's compare that to the 7115. And we're showing about 110. I'll try it now with the B side. B side is showing us 101.1 nanofarad. Zoom in there for you. Decided to take out the uh, Maztec uh, 5308 LCR tester, and that is showing us 109.22 nanofarad. That's pretty close to the uh, Exelvan M6013. Here's an old aluminum electrolytic, uh, 0.1 microfarad. Let's try this. So 106.55, according to the Maztec LCR tester. 106 as well for the CM7115A. And I will zero out the Excel band again. One 
112.5 nanofarad. Finally, we'll try the B side. And for the B side, 98.72 nanofarad. So the uh, Maztec 5308 as well as the uh, CM7115 were pretty well neck and neck. Here's another older aluminum electrolytic and we're showing as 1150.4, 1150.4 nanofarad on the Excel van. 1049 nanofarad for the B side. 1.057 for the 7115A. And we'll compare it actually with the Maztec one more time. So the Maztec and the um, 7115A are uh, pretty close in terms of the uh, the readings thus far. Quite interesting. So the last cap that we will look at today is a standard electrolytic. It is a 4.7 microfarad, 4700 microfarad or 4.7 millifarad. And let's compare the four meters and see how they compare. Starting with the B side, we've got 4414 microfarad. Next up, the Excel van, slightly lower reading, 4,266 microfarad. Compare that to 4,360 microfarad for the 7115A. 4.27 millifarad for the Mastec. So once again, the Mastec and the CM11, seven, sorry, the CM7115A are pretty close. So here we are on the inside of the XL van, and a couple of interesting things to point out. First thing you might be able to notice right away is it looks like a little Apollo capsule here. Um, not sure if this is an oscillator or an inductor, but it is covered in gold shielding completely. And uh, you don't see that too often in a meter. Moving down the line, this is the main IC. This is a PIC18F2. And actually, this is a pretty high-performing RISC CPU. Um, it has some sort of low power management built into it, if uh, memory, memory serves me correct. So um, quite a nice CPU they're utilizing in this uh, meter. Uh, your standard crystal oscillator over here. This is the micro USB in, and this says TPE. So this is probably some sort of a testing uh, test point. Um, I don't know if they're using this when they're manufacturing these to uh, make sure that uh, the device is actually operational, but that is a, a test point right there. Um, that is the battery attachment here for the three volt in and out. And pretty well the rest of your transistors and SMD components that you normally find on your circuit. So not a whole lot going in here, folks, but um, what is here is a uh, kind of interesting. And once again, it, the shielding here is uh, really unusual. Speaking of shielding, if we look at the other side of the meter, yeah, I didn't put that D. That doesn't stand for Darren. So um, I'm not sure what the D is representative of here, but this is the shielding that is on the inverse side of the meter. Now it's only in this one area and it seems to cover the same spot that that um, inductor right here is, is uh, located. So interesting. Too bad they didn't use more shielding, but um, you know, it is what it is. So there we have it, folks. That's the inside of the XL van capacitor tester. Last but not least, a lot of people are always asking about in-circuit testing. Can it do it? Can, can this meter successfully measure a cap while that capacitor is in circuit? And here I've got a display board, which is actually a working display board. And I've got it hooked up to a 120 microfarad capacitor. And that is the XL van that is presently look, taking the measurement. And here you go, 102 microfarad. So no problems here. So once again, slightly better angle, showing up as 102.7 microfarad 
in circuit. 106 microfarad for the CM711 5A. B side is showing us as 113.7 microfarad. And last but certainly not least, the Maztec MS5308 is giving us 104.8 microfarad whilst in circuit. Final thoughts on the Exelvan capacitor meter, the M6013. I like it. It's not the, um, the greatest capacitor tester in the world, but um, for what you're getting here for about 30 bucks, it's fast. It has a huge range. I mean, we're talking 470 millifarad, 470,000 microfarad. That is phenomenal. Um, in terms of accuracy, it's, it seems to be okay. It's definitely not uh, the most accurate capacitor meter out there. But once again, if you're using this for general electronics and hobby work, hey, you can't go wrong. Build-wise, it's not bad, not bad at all. It's got a sturdy frame. And only time will tell just how reliable this is in the long run. But um, all in all, I'm really happy. And I'm going to give the Exile M613 a solid 4 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching everyone. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And remember, keep on testing.